You're live with Lucy Hawkins to Iraq now, where the influential Shia cleric Muqtada al Sadr has called on his supporters to stop ongoing demonstrations after they stormed the country's parliament building. Police fired tear gas and used water cannons as hundreds of protesters breached a high security zone in Baghdad. Let's go live there now. We can speak to the BBC's Faraz Kalani, who is there. Faraz, just uh, take us through exactly what happened. The pictures are so dramatic and it seems incredibly chaotic. It was uh, actually yesterday at four o'clock local time, uh, uh, thousands, actually not hundreds, of uh, the Iraqi Shia cleric Muqtada uh, Sadr start gathering in the middle of uh, Baghdad and then they move directly to uh, to uh, the green zone. The first, the first few minutes, the security forces, they really tried to stop them. But then it was weird how the security forces opened the gates to uh, and let them enter the green zone where, as you know, the embassies, uh, the politicians, uh, they are based there based and, and live there. And then they moved towards the parliament, they stormed it, and they spent like two hours before they left it after the uh, uh, after Muqtada al-Sadr uh, asked them to do so in, in, on, uh, on, on Twitter. Uh, they were organized, to be honest. They, they, were, they didn't try to, to do anything wrong. They just wanted to deliver this message that we can do that at any minute. If the uh, other Shia parties insisted in uh, nominating uh, any person to form the uh, new government without uh, the permission or the acceptance from the uh, from Muqtada al-Sadr, and this is what happened two days ago, as you know, the Iranian, uh, well, sorry, the, uh, the the Shia parties backed by Iran, nominated Muhammad Shia al-Sudani, a guy who is well known of being a stronger ally to the ex Prime Minister Nouri Maliki, and because of that, it was the message that we will not allow this guy to form the government. Faraz, thank you so much for that update live in Baghdad for us.